So quality control is really built into this lean manufacturing process. At each step of the process, each person in the process is inheriting the work that the person did right before them. So it's not a person sitting down and making the bag from scratch. The bag goes through a process and gets handed off from one person to another. The process starts at this first machine and it goes through a sequential process around this U and then comes to here where the bag or the sleeve is trimmed of all of its um, little threads. Uh, maybe a strap is put on the bag. The bag is turned right side out, made sure everything's nice and proper and, and, um, and meets our quality standards, goes in a box and goes to shipping. So as you can imagine, if, if the person hands me something and I look at it and go, wait a minute, this is wrong. This isn't, you know, this isn't the same as the thing I, I'm supposed to get. Then you have an instant feedback loop there. Hey, something's, something's wrong with this. And so let's assume that it's not. It works its way through the process. Everything's right at each step of the way. At the end, it's just right. That's built into the process. So you know, quality control is an interesting part of a business like ours. I've seen a lot of craft brewers come along with a good marketing plan, good packaging, uh, everything, but the beer wasn't that great, and they don't make it. You know, they, you got to have quality in the product first. We decide what kind of beer we want to drink. We try to make that beer, make sure we make it to the standard that we want to drink it, and we can't drink it all. So we hope, uh, you know, we hope we have some left, and then we sell the rest. Sometimes we'll get someone who's unhappy about something and they'll send us an email with the expectation that they're just talking to some company and they're not going to get a response and then all of a sudden they get an email back maybe even from me and then they go wow if I knew I was going to get a response I wouldn't have been quite so angry right we say just calm down we we're here we're listening to you let's let's have a conversation so this is our office space kind of uh, mission control if you will we've got uh, customer service uh, graphic design uh, operations managing the factory so this is my team here Joe and Helen and Chris and Crystal over there in the corner um, Katie out here who uh, manages our uh, factory operation we just get lots of people who through however they experience us, because they talk to our customers, you know, to Helen and customer service on the phone or via email or chat, they get a sense, hey, there's real people there and I'm communicating with people. And so it's really way more than the product. It's got to be this sort of interaction with people. And we have a very simple policy here about our warranty, and it's no unreasonable request denied. We want people saying, I love my bag. And if it takes us two times to make them love their bag, then that's fine, you know? If it wasn't the right color or the right size, send it back, we'll send you another one. We try to find a place that meets everybody's needs, whether it means they end up with a rickshaw bag or not, um, really that they have a pleasant experience. As we realized that if we were gonna grow, we were gonna have more beer out there, further places, less control from our end over how that tasted on the other end, we realized quickly that we needed to really put in some quality control procedures and now it's a full department. We've gone from having a good scientist that could look at every batch seven times along the way and crop everything up in petri dishes and see what kind of things grew and see what kind of problems we might have with that batch. We started catching little things that, that None of it was a problem coming out of the brew house, but it was all shelf stability problems. You know, it was how long was that beer gonna last? If, if it got out and got old or got warm or whatever, what's it gonna taste like? So we've really cranked that wheel down for years now, and we've got a full-on lab team. We've got a sensory analysis lab that we just put in. All of our employees are going through a sensory training. We just wanna know what, what people in our office, you know, the people in the accounting department that aren't beer experts, they're not uh, scientists by any means, and, and just see what they taste. And that gives you a cross-section of society, and you can't capture everything about the flavor of a beer through a scientific analysis. We've really put in a lot of quality control procedures as time's gone on, just to make sure that when we send beer to New York or London or Copenhagen or wherever, that we know what it's gonna be like down the road.